Hey guys, Team Yugi Fails here today with another deck profile. Today we're going to be looking at my Dark Pendulum deck. Um, it's a really, really fun deck, very OTK based, and uh, it allows you to go second, which is pretty good with this current format. Hopefully it doesn't get hit too bad on, uh, on the ban list that should be coming out soon. But even if it does get hit, I do have other builds um, that even correspond with the OCG list that are still very effective. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into this. Uh, three Sorcerer. <clears throat> Obviously, you want to play three of that. Uh, two Lizard Draw and two Geturtle. A lot of people play one of this, and some people play one of this as well. Um, but I like two and two because you want to get more searches off of Sorcerer. And it's really good uh, for extra draw power to have these cards. One Wonky Board. One Joker, one Silver Claw, and one Swing Cobra. Um, these two are self-explanatory. This is just another name. And this one um, is searchable off of King of the Feral Imps. And it's another low scale. So, pretty useful. That's it for the Perform Palace. Under the Draco Slayers. Uh, three Master. One Luster. And then one Lector. And one Vector. Uh, this is the basic lineup that I'm seeing in most builds, and I think it works pretty well. And then for the random pendulums, we just play one eccentric. On to the non-pendulum monsters. Uh, playing triple Armageddon Knight, one Shadal Dragon, and one Zephyros. This is your dark lineup. Uh, really, really good stuff. Two second donkey. Uh, this card is pretty solid. I enjoy using it. Um, it's good if you have pendulum rising and two random pendulums because you get a search off of him from having the two pendulums and then you pendulum rising into a uh, sorcerer and you get two more searches, which is pretty solid. One mass chameleon. Uh, it's another way to get to ignister, which is very important. Then onto the hand traps, triple maxi and double failure. Considering we're going second, these are all great to see, um, for the most part. Then onto the spells, very very small spell lineup. Uh, three pendulum rising, two instant fusion, one Raigeki, one upstart, one Rhoda, and one Draco faceoff. So that is the main deck, it's 40 cards exact, I believe 31 monsters and 9 spells. Moving on to our extra deck now. Extra deck is pretty self-explanatory. One King of the Feral Imps, as I mentioned before. One Evil Swarm Nightmare, this card is really really good. Uh, you can use his effect twice in one turn, which is very important. One Diamond Dire Wolf, really good for luring out that back row. Castell, pretty solid. Fist Dweller, really good as well. Thagosto Emerald, um, perfect for shuffling back stuff that you need. Then we play the Utopia Engine. Magister. Then I'm playing uh, one Utopic Future. This is one that I haven't seen people play, and I don't know why, because this card is really good in this deck, considering you go into all these a lot. And... Once there are two materials off a Nightmare, he's basically useless. Um, same with King of the Feral Imps. So you can just put these two together to make that, um, or anything that is useless on your board at that point, for that matter. One Titanic. Uh, this card's really good, but it's kind of a, a situational card. And of course, one Ignister. Two Dynaster. And one Norden. So that rounds it up for this dark Pepe deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions on how this deck runs, how it works, things like that, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give the video a nice thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. This is Team Yugi Fails signing out.